Hey, hey everyone, this is Fangs, and welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. Uh, I've been over here in the lava biome today searching for the odd onion, and I have not been lucky. I cannot find an odd onion right now to save my life, because what I decided on is I want to do a boom crystal largo. So I want to combine the boom and crystal slimes, because I think that'd be cool. And because uh, then we either need a briar hen or an odd onion. And I was thinking Odd Onion, but man, the Odd Onion is extremely hard to find, it seems. <laughs> um, I did see a few Briar Hens, and I'm regretting the fact that I didn't grab those. So if I see a Briar Hen before I see a Odd Onion, I think we're just going to take a Briar Hen. Which so far, I still don't see one anywhere. Is this a Briar Hen? This is a Briar Hen. Alright, you know what? <laughs> I'm making the executive decision we're going with briar hens. That'll be way easier than trying to find an odd onion because I've already spent probably like an hour walking around and I found one odd onion and it was already expired. While we're over here though, and I have a stack of 40 chickens because of all the chickens I was seeing while doing that, let's go ahead and get this lava slime out of the way or the boom gordo as it's called. So it should be eight more and bam. Oh, no, you take more. You, wow. It was like 30 of the, 30 fruit for the other ones. This guy took 40 chickens and it still wasn't enough. Oh, the chicken's in the lava. So the lava burns me, but it doesn't burn a chicken. Why doesn't that make fried chicken? Okay, that, that, 43 is still not enough. I wonder if it's 50. Or maybe, you know, we're just... Wait. Wait, these are fire slimes. Oh. I didn't realize we had already discovered another one of the slimes. I've been trying to figure out where they were, and they've been here this entire time. They're the ones that spawn in the lava pools. Yeah, they're the... No, see, these are boom slimes, so I don't know why we got fire slimes all of a sudden, but sure, I'll take them. Now I just have to get home. And then we'll have to come back with more chicken later for that guy. Because of all the expansions we need today, we need to buy the den. That way we have access to a cave and can have even more plots and slimes. I almost just jumped off the map with the briar hens. <laughs> that would have been... Oh man, that would have been so unlucky. I... That was awkward. All right, we're gonna go ahead and destroy this pomegranate tree. We're gonna just nuke it, and we're gonna turn this into a chicken coop. And then we're gonna just upgrade the chicken coop immediately because we are made of money. Except for the elder collector. I don't, what is, what is the purpose of this? What do elders do that's bad? It costs $1,300. I don't really know if that's worth it. We need to go get two roostros from our other pen and throw them in there, and then that'll be fine. And we need to naturally swap all of these enclosures. So I think we have a lot of plorts right now. We're kind of overstocked in the plorts, it looks like. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna assume that I have a couple I can sell. I was away for quite a while. I'm surprised the heartbeats aren't decayed and expired already. Oh, the water lattice was... Oh, it's right... it's decaying right now. No, I've got to get as much as I got to get as much as I can. Shoot it faster. So I think we were right at the point where we get technically got three harvests of it. Like two had been on the ground and one we just pulled out of the ground. And, you know, selling plorts... Yeah, this could go faster, but I understand. You know, I wish we kind of like bulk shoot an entire stack out. I think that was actually a mod in the first Slime Rancher, the ability to shoot an entire stack out. Well, since we bought it, let's check it out. I'm guessing it's just a cave, but... Um... Okay, that's actually kind of cool. We've got like a tower in the middle. So we've got... What is, th there's a bot on that leaf right there. Yeah, there is. Okay, so there's information here for us. So we've got two exits on the side. So this is all of them, there's five plots. Yeah, there's five plots in here. What's outside of these? Those little crystals with like the hooks around them, I feel like they're a hidden point for something. Is there a purpose to this area back here or is this just an area? 
Not exactly sure what the point is. But these right here, these make me think it's something. I don't know what these are. If these are lights or what they are. Um, but I need to get up there to that little bug. Which I should have just accomplished. And hello, little bug. Oh, mushrooms, my first love. I still remember the day mom told me that they aren't actually plants. I couldn't believe it. After I got that field guide, I would always sneak into the forest with grandma's old suitcase and collect as many as I could. When she found out, mom was so upset, but I think she was more upset about grandma's suitcase than anything else. I didn't know it was special to her. Well, uh, I mean, okay, so the guy likes mushrooms. So we need to buy a corral and we need to upgrade it all the way because we want to bring our bats over here. We also want to bring the ringtails over here. Um, I don't think we need the solar shade uh, because this is a cave, obviously. So we're gonna just fully upgrade this though. That way we don't have anything else to worry about. I think what we'll do is put the garden here because we're gonna need to grow those trees that we removed from the other place, the uh, pomegranates. And since we're rich, we'll just buy all of that. And then back here, we'll add another corral for the ringtails. And we should also probably add... Oh, I did buy the music box over here. Never mind. I didn't realize I bought it. I didn't ever check this way either. Is there anything out here? Oh, wait, is this... Oh, so you can acquire deep brine. Maybe that's what these are for, is resources will rarely spawn here. Yeah, it definitely didn't take me like 20 minutes to sell all the plorts and get everything back on track on the farm since I was gone for so long looking for the onions. Uh, that was totally a very quick operation. Speaking of all the money, I wonder what we can buy now, because I think we have quite a bit of material now. Um, oh, well, we just need batty plorts and then a little more jellystone, and we can have the power core, and we can get that to 200, so we're definitely going to get that today. We can immediately... Oh, wait, we don't have the boom plorts yet. We will have that very soon when we get the dash boots. And we can't upgrade. We can add an extra tank. Let's get that immediately. And we need ringtail plorts. Well, those are obtainable. Silky sand. We've got one of two strange diamonds. I did find one of these while I was looking for the odd onions. Um, these seem to be pretty rare. Rock plorts. That's simple enough. We need puddle plorts and we can get a water tank. Okay, so we just need a couple uh, couple resources that are pretty easy to obtain. Also, I'm just now realizing that the yellow home portal is pretty cheap. So once we're established a little bit more, we can get that very easily. The only thing that sucks about relocating these guys is I have to carry them one at a time. Honestly, it'd be easier just to start over from scratch but I'm way too lazy for that. All right, Bataflies are now secure and they'll be getting fed by the auto feeder. But since they're kind of agitated, let's go ahead and just manually feed them real quick. Uh, that way they don't try and breach containment. I've almost got everyone moved around now. Just going to grab the last of the hunter slimes. Kind of need to make sure I get them all here. Um, they're a little hard to see. I think I got them all. And we're gonna put these guys over here in the corner. And I have to go into this nuclear fusion reactor. <laughs> These boom slimes just constantly are exploding. This is probably a really terrible idea for me to combine the boom slimes and the crystal slimes, but I'm still going to do it. So we want to get rid of just a couple of them. I want 10 uh, at most. 10 is probably still too many, but that's how many we're going to settle with. Uh, wait, I only I need to do. Yeah, I need to do that. So goodbye to those guys. And now we need to get two briar hens. Actually, yeah, because those they need to duplicate. But now if I feed that guy that, he'll give me two plorts, which means I can then feed owl. I almost just died. We'll put that plort in there and hope the other guy eats it. And then we'll shoot this guy with one. He should eat it, explode into a million plorts. And yeah, we need to add some stuff here. I like having a lot of money. You can just add things whenever you need it. So hopefully now they... Oh, wait. I added a plort collector, so they're not going to eat the crystal ones. Here, you eat that. You eat that. And then I need this one and... Oh, wait. No, I just died. <laughs> oh, man. No, I lost the... No, I lost the fire slimes because I died. 
Okay, the explosive slimes are incredibly, incredibly annoying. <laughs> I feel like we need to just not have that many. I feel like we just need a little less here. Man, I should have done I should have done this before I started messing with them because I'm gonna put it here. Um, I was gonna demolish this and then build the incinerator here because I'm pretty sure this is where, yeah, you do the, yeah, the ash trough allows you to collect ash of incinerated food at its base, which is eaten exclusively by fire slimes. So you do this and then you put your fire slimes right here, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this acts as a fire slime pin. So yeah, that's unfortunate. And we have these nice little bushes here that automatically spawn the food. And then we just shoot those in here. And then it burns all that for the fire slimes to eat. That's why these veggies are here. So that's why I was thinking we would build it here. Because we would just incinerate all of this. And then when that happens, you're feeding the slimes. I'm totally not now just remembering that these are lanterns. So I figured since I killed my fire slimes, we would come over here and try and burst this guy. And then get the fire slimes again. There we go. So he is going to burst. Well, that's a pile of explosives. So this is kind of interesting. We've got two treasure pods right here. Let's get these open. Ember Valley portal. And oh, so we get location. Por oh, a diamond. We needed one more of these. So now we can get whatever that was. And um, interesting. This gate is still sealed too. So I really must have been the first to enter since it was abandoned. I thought I was talking to engineers, problem solvers, people who could fix what I found, but once we left the labyrinth and met up here, I saw they were smiling. They were excited at the sight of opportunity. The company had sent their money people, not engineers. I don't think they even considered stabilization. It wasn't long before it all collapsed. Interesting, so... I have no idea what's going on here. But this is kind of a cool little area. So this was a portal room. Let's not get killed by an exploding slime this time. However, I am going to grab the lava slimes. And I keep calling the fire slimes lava slimes, and I, I can't stop myself from doing that at this point, so we're just gonna roll with it. I have noticed that radiant ore is extremely common. Like, there's more radiant ore than any other ore in the game. Um, I don't know if that's intentional or just coincidental or... I'm getting very lucky or what's going on with that but that's something I've noticed quite a bit of home sweet home for the fire slimes oh so the food does store up there now I think we have to manually collect all these so that is the only downside to this situation but um at least we have fire slimes yeah so we don't really want that many because we have to manually feed them all and that's you know a lot of effort however basically anytime we come over here we'll just want to gather up all of the crops that are made like the carrots or the berries and then just shoot them into this flame that way they're producing plorts whenever they should i just thought about the fact it's been a little while since we checked this thing and i knew that this guy called us and we've also got moki miles so let's call this guy back. Beatrix, I've done it. I believe I've cracked the super mysterious code. Okay. Basically, the AI sent us coordinates. Oh, you're probably wondering what it said. Well, I determined this mysterious, perhaps even alien AI message that says, hello. Not much, but pleasantries count for something. The moment I cracked it, I received another message. It's almost as though this mysterious AI is monitoring me. How exciting. I don't think I've ever seen someone so excited to be monitoring. Moki Miles, well, what do you know? Beatrix, off on another adventure and didn't think to take her good pal, sometimes rival and forever mentor, Moki Miles? Seriously, B, next time you go running off to dangerous uncharted territory, could you at least give me a heads up? I'd like to be there for you in case you need me. To help collect all those valuable resources that seem to be scattered all over the island. What? You think I wasn't going to do a little recon of my own? What good are surveillance satellites if they can't snoop on stuff? I mean, that's true. That's fair. Anyways, be careful out there. It only gives me kind of a weird vibe. So I'm going to keep poking around. Oh, and since I know you're starting from scratch out there, take this refinery link. Should manage... Should make things easier... Wait. I've been trying to figure out how to get those this entire time, and all I had to do was talk to Moki. Oh, man. I... What do we need to craft those? I'm crafting a million of them. Oh, they're super cheap as well. 
that is super nice so they're just jelly stone phosphor plorts and deep brine that is really 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 nice i'm i'm extremely glad that they are that cheap we will be using a lot of those from now on now let's go ahead and get the power core too that'll be more stamina and then i don't think we have access to anything else right now we can get boom floors fairly easily i think we already have them i just need to grab them and extra tank we need 20 ringtail plorts and silky sand and rock plorts so we're still kind of far off on those but we do have the strange diamonds so we'll get that pretty soon and we need puddle plorts Puddle plorts, we just need to get puddle slime. So I should add a puddle slime tank over on that archway area. And then maybe we can go from there with that. I just remembered in the end of the last video, we discovered this cave with this tabby slime key thing. So let's go ahead and open this door and see where this goes. Because I left it with a riddle for all of you. And I said we would do it next time. And then I forgot. Oh, well, it's just a, well, it's just a tiny little room. What do we get in the treasure pod though? Could be good. A tank liner. That's really good. That means we'll get another, wait, the tank guard? Is there a guard on it? I think, I think maybe that just means more inventory space that we can craft. So these resource notes like deep brine and everything, they seem to spawn at random. I think there's set locations they can spawn and then the game randomly selects between them to spawn them. Um, because I keep seeing them in new places after I harvest them and then they disappear like that I think that one might have disappeared as I was harvesting it. It might have despawned or something like that I don't know if that's a thing or not But I feel like the ore locations and all of that keep changing Which probably makes sense because you wouldn't want your resource to spawn in the same exact location every single time Have I been down here before? Is there something over here that I haven't found before? I'm pretty sure I've never been over here on this beach area, so let's check it out. Oh, treasure pod. So yeah, I haven't been over here. Hydro turret. Ah, yeah. The, uh, the catch-22 turret for when you accidentally release tar in your base. And this is just a little cove. Oh no, there's angry slot. Ooh, wait. This is a teleporter here. Wait, how do we activate that teleporter? Interesting. So there is a teleporter over here. So either we'll unlock this or this is for later. This is really cool. So I just now am realizing that you can actually tell when the fire slimes have food. If there's no ash in here, uh, you'll just see the bare metal. And when you shoot this, you'll see, you'll see the ash slowly build up. So yeah pretty cool uh we at least know when they have food and when they don't now um i didn't know there was any indicator for that okay so we should have enough now to get the dash boots let's go ahead and grab these and we almost can craft dash boots too actually we just need a little more wild honey um i don't know oh so this reduces the this reduces the cost of the sprinting and it makes you think walking is for suckers I knew it, walking is for suckers. We're gonna run everywhere soon. Um, we're gonna need some hunter plorts. Technically I can grab this as well. So we'll probably grab this real quick. This just salvages 20% of your vac tank if you accidentally die. That's what the tank guard was. And um, we just need a couple more puddle plorts for the water tank. The ringtail plorts is gonna take a while so we won't be getting the extra tank today, but we will soon. I think we can also, yeah, we can grab the pulse wave. That's going to take wild honey, though. Um, but yeah, let's see what the pulse wave is. I don't know how this works. How does this work? Adds a pulse wave emitter feature to your backpack that pushes away slimes whenever you need some personal space. Well, how do I trigger that? I don't see anything. I don't see anything different than normal. If we can, yeah, we can. So I would like to craft some refinery links. There we go. Um, we can afford one of them right now, unfortunately. We need to get some more jelly stones. So I'm gonna have to farm up a bunch of that. However, gadget mode is T. Oh, so there's like... Right, I remember this from the first Slime Rancher game now. There is predefined slots where you can put this stuff. Kind of forgot about that. I was thinking I could put stuff wherever I wanted to, but no. It's all predetermined where we can build it. We just have to select the areas, basically. All right, I should have enough for the tank guard, so let's go ahead and upgrade that. There we go. That was 3,000 gold. 
Uh, that was quite expensive. And yeah, we're not gonna get the ringtail plorts today, but I think we can maybe get the puddle plorts and potentially, oh, right. We were gonna try and get a refinery link down somewhere. Since refinery links are pretty cheap, I decided to come over here where the flutter is and put one over here because this is like super far away. So if I want to deposit things, um, and there's also a lot of resources here. Um, like you'll get a lot of plorts and there can also be a lot of the beehives on these trees. So I think this is an okay spot for now to put one. Um, let's go ahead and see what this looks like installing it here. Oh, and then we can like... We can freelance rotate it basically. I kind of wish that these could be in the map more instead of out here in the open, but whatever, I guess that's fine. We also have the ability to get the puddle plorts right here. So this is overall a really good spot to acquire a lot of them, I think, which is a great reason to have this right here. But with that guys, I think we are out of time for today's episode. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and have a good one.